Alrighty pals, it is the end of the year, and end of the year for me is generally goal setting time. Uh, I know that New Year's resolutions are seen as very cheesy, and that they're notoriously things that you don't stick to, but I love the concept of a fresh start. I just like goal setting, okay? I'm nerdy like that. And yeah, the end of the year is a really good time to reflect on the year that's been, and to look forward at what you want to get out of the next year, because if you don't take stock of your life and maybe think about what's missing or what you'd like to change, then you're not going to do anything to change it or to add in things that you're missing. Now obviously you can do this at any point of the year, you don't have to wait till the very end of it to do this, but I don't know, it's just a good time. Fresh start, new, new calendar year, let's have a think about some goals. I think I would say that I'm fairly ambitious when it comes to goals, maybe not so much in the level of the goal itself, but in the number of goals that I set, and that is definitely something I want to change. Uh, last year I did a video about goals for 2017, I can't remember what it was called, but I'll link it on a card when I find it. Um, and I also wrote them down in my bullet journal. Looking at the list, uh, I achieved two, maybe we'll say two and a half of the goals that I set. I made plans to create a workshop, to start writing a course, to do like a monthly series of design. I don't know, it was a lot of things. The only ones I achieved from the list were learning to code, that definitely happened. Uh, I released my line of screen printed posters, they're available on my store, I'll link that down below in the description. And I had released a digital product on here. I've not really done this in the sense that I meant it when I wrote the goal. I was meaning to like make a font or something, which I'm in the process of, but it's it's nowhere near done. But I did release our Design Life community. That's technically a digital product that you can sign up to and you know, you pay monthly for it. So yeah, I'm gonna call that one half done. So out of seven goals, two and a half doesn't sound great, does it? It doesn't sound like I achieved what I set out to this year. And so you could consider that to be a failure. But I do not. I've learned a lot about goals this year. I mentioned in my chatty update I did at the start of December that I'd been going through the focus course by Sean Blanc this year and that has an amazing section on goal setting and really like taking stock of your life and figuring out what you want from it in a bunch of different categories like finances and your vocation and your relationships etc. And I learned a lot through that about setting goals like I said and I think that the goals I set for last year were wrong. They were very specific things and I think I was setting myself up to fail with them almost by naming so many very specific things. Because if you say, for example, that, and this is one of my goals, that you want to release an apparel design workshop, when you don't do that specific thing, when you don't create an apparel design workshop, that means that you've failed your goal. Whereas really the sentiment behind that goal was that I wanted to have some more formal way of teaching. I wanted to be able to put a class together and almost like a mini curriculum and go through and teach something a little more formally than I do in my YouTube videos. And while I didn't achieve that either, that in general is a better goal because it's more open-ended, it means I can achieve it in lots of different ways, whichever way I decide is going to work best. I'm going to be honest with you at this point and say that I'm not 100% sure what point I'm trying to make in this video. I just really wanted to sit down and talk to you about goals because I do think it's really important to have them. I think it's really important to know what you're aiming for. But what I've learned is that instead of aiming for a very specific thing, you should aim for a, like to have a certain skill or for a state of being that you want to be in. That's not to say that you can't have very specific things that you want to achieve, but I just think it's better to have those be more in the short term. And I also think in those cases of very, setting very specific goals, instead of having them all at one time, like I had seven at one time that were my goals for the year, it should be a list that you work down. So like you achieve one and then you reevaluate your list, see if you still want to do the rest and choose the next one to aim for so that you're putting your focus into one thing at once of those, you know, very specific projects, I guess, that you want to complete. I do think that when getting specific with goals is important is when it's like a smaller goal that's going to lead you to a bigger one. For example, one of my goals for life in general is to own a couple of properties. I want to have a house that I live in and then, I don't know, something that I rent out and can like, you know, get money from tenants in that way. So to work towards that, in 2018 one of my goals is to double what's in my savings account because need a deposit. And that is a very specific goal, but it's working towards a bigger one. It's like a stepping stone along the way. So I think the specificity makes sense here. And having that goal, I'll like keep it in mind throughout the year, hopefully, and it'll 
encouraged me to put more into my savings account. I would love to know if you are the type of person who sets New Year's resolutions or I don't really like to think of them that way. I think of them as goals of things that I want to achieve in the next year. Okay, here's what we're going to do. First, I want you to think about what you want out of life in general. Like, where do you want to end up in life? What do you want to be doing? Um, what do you want to have? What do you want your relationships to be like? Think about the bigger picture there. And then think about what you could do to work towards those things in 2018. You do have to be realistic about what can be achieved in a year and like what you can achieve from the position that you're in now. But I think that there's always ways to progress. There's always ways you can do something to move forward. Even if it's only a tiny bit, any movement is good movement. So yeah, that is your homework from this video is to think about what you want in life and then to think about a goal or a couple of goals you could set for 2018 to get you there. Um, another one of mine that I don't really know how to define yet, but I really want to connect with people in person through speaking. Like I love doing it through video, but I just think that it would be fun to host workshops, speak at conferences, that sort of thing. So I need to get a speakers page up on my site and it's going to be maybe not so much a goal, but a focus for the year, though. I don't know. I'm coming around to thinking that that's kind of the same thing. But I'll be on the lookout for speaking opportunities and, and things like that. That'll be where my focus lies. So yeah, I want you to think bigger with your goals and pare it down as much as you need to into something that's achievable. I probably should have made this video into like five tips for setting your New Year's resolutions. That would have been better for the search results. But I really just really enjoyed having a chat, you know. Um, and I hope you enjoyed watching it as well and that perhaps you got something out of it. I'd love to hear, like I said, about your approach to goals and yeah, I just really want to encourage you to think bigger with them. It's good to aim high, but it's also really good to set goals in a way that means that even if you don't achieve it, you're going to be in a better position. 2017, for the world in general, has just felt like, part of my language, a shit show. In my personal life, it's been a pretty great one, but obviously I'm a part of the world, so all of that has affected me too. I really hope that 2018 is a good year for you, and I believe a lot in mindset, and I think that if you approach it with positivity and hope and high ambitions, then it's going to turn out great. So thank you for watching this video, uh, for this ramble, I guess. I don't even really know if we can call it a video. Like I said, goals is just something that I love to talk about. And so I just wanted to share my thoughts on them. However confusing this may have been, <laughs> but thank you. And, uh, I'd love to hear about your goals and your thoughts on goals. Like I said, down below in the comments, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you in 2018.